year, you get to learn like Afrikaans and Isu Zui. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. We also have the also oh great and lovely Rain Jones. Yes, and we are here today largely because we want to share with you all from the child's perspective what schools are like here and five things that she loves about schools here rather than the schools back in states. It's been asked of us in the comment sections like how are the kids adjusting to school? How is it for them? And is there anything that you all could say anything about it? And Crystal and I have already done a video pertaining to the things that we love about schools here. And so we'll let you all hear from the oh so a lovely Rain's perspective okay and so five things that you get to share about why you enjoy schools better here as opposed to the states uh, number one what's number one my dear number one is where you get to have more acti activities and aftercare more than you get in the states ah so aftercare right you have more so for those that don't know aftercare is what takes place after school right and being that school gets out so early crystal and i usually will always have the kids in aftercare so that we can pick them up around like 5 to 5 30 usually like it's the pickup time 30. Uh, you know depends on the day and the time but nonetheless they went to aftercare in the states and they went and they go to aftercare here but you say here there are more activities during aftercare so like what kind of activities do you get to be a part of so sometimes we play like freeze day well as south africa say musical statues oh which is free day freeze dance okay and we get to like and we like dance and all that and we on valentine's day we like makes little hearts you can paint you can sit and then like for a little bit of time like for an hour we get to go outside and play mm -hmm. and yeah and there's also other i thought you were gonna say these oh, other activities and snacks. you get snacks okay that is true but then they also have like chess that they get to do and aftercare there's chess? also dance yes that's no, after that's school after not right. after care but after school right which is but some of those stuff you have to pay for that is true. Some of those things you have to pay for, but Rain gets to do chess on one day. She does tennis. Well, that's, yeah, that's tennis is during PE or no. See, it's, it's a lot of stuff, right? It's after school. So there's dance, there's all these different activities that they do after school during aftercare. And um, then it goes into the different things that she talks about. So I do love that because in the States, aftercare was simply doing what? You just go sit down and you can like color with crayons. Yeah. Read books. Yeah, you could read, you can color, and you could play with your friends. But now there's so and many like more things. Snack times like an hour. Oh, okay. So obviously, aftercare is one of the things that she loves here, uh, as opposed to the way things were there. What's number two, my dear? Number two is where you get to have fun with your friends, and okay. like you get to your friends greet you and yes. you, especially you'll get friends to play with and meet with mm. as if like I'm new to the school I'm like oh I'm so frightened but you would be you would be like greeted yeah you'll be greeted and, and like comfortable inside and it's gonna be like so nice inside but in the outside, you have friends like around you, covering you up to be happy, and like they're greeting you, all that. And yeah. You like that? Yeah. Now that's so very true because when she was a new student at the school, they were greeted her. They welcomed her. It was acknowledged in class that, hey, we have a new student, Rain Jones, and the kids came up on her, loved her, greeted her, and she has since remained friends with those kids. And so even when I take her to school at times, you know, it's not about me so much. The friends come. Hey, Rain, how you doing? We just 
do our handshake. Bye, Daddy. Correct. And all her friends just come up and they walk her onto class, which, you know, it used to be my thing, but now she has friends. Yeah. And it's about them now. So, and it all, with it all, it gave me great warmth and great comfort because she was coming from another country to a new location and they welcomed her upon first day and continue to to this day right and, and even especially want to the do the first school i went to like yeah my friend there was like people in the class and i was like hello and then like they all ran out to me i was like what are they about to do to me and then they were like, they went to all hug me and i was like okay okay let's see. yeah right and especially i said i was sitting next to a friend mm -hmm. next to me mm -hmm. which was nice yeah. and you get to be with like you get they invite you to like their parties yes. and all that so, so nice. far i've been to like three parties already already and most of them was at like the first month of when we arrived here and so <laughs> it was back to back boom boom whoa, whoa all these parties happening right now i'm but, like daddy i'm invited to a party he's like wait what correct with already who? right where's the message right i gotta see I need to see the location. I need to see where. I need to know which kind of gift to get. But I love that. And even with the kids welcoming her, they even invited her to have play dates with them, which is a thing here, like a major thing here. And yeah. it's been fun. So we'll get the parents' numbers and things and we'll People coordinate from there. Access. Yeah. And so all that to be said, parents. Your kids will be loved and welcome when they do come and as they do come and with their school, right? And so one thing with kids is that they spend a large amount of time at school and what you can realize and have hours. comfort. And it's not 24 hours. Okay. Okay. You but can take that part out of me. Yeah, I'll leave it because it'll make somebody laugh. But at the end of the day, you can be at peace and reassured that your kids will be welcomed, greeted, and loved on while they are at school. All right, so that was number two. So, so far we have the fun things that take place at aftercare. We also have the warm greetings that you'll receive upon starting school. What's number three? Different languages. Okay, now speak to the different languages that you get to learn. Speak in. No, 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 you don't have to speak the language, but what do you mean by the different languages? So like you get to learn Zulu here, but as if we're in the States, we will learn Spanish. You learn Spanish in first grade? Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. And in, but like in second grade, it's bigger in the States. I mean here, you get to learn like Afrikaans and Isuzu, you got two things and it's also two weeks but in Africa you could just do it anytime you want. We have like books and books for Isi Zulu, two books for Isi Zulu and one book for Afrikaans. But it's like it's a lot more than what you will learn a lot more each grade. Mm -hmm. And like yeah. Yeah. So out of the two languages that you're learning now, which one do you think is more difficult? Is Isi Zulu difficult or is Afrikaans more difficult? Oh, that's hard. That's hard. They're both kind of difficult, huh? No, they're both kind of easy. Oh, okay. Because like you start easy and then like you go smooth hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's gradually smoothly into harder like, type information like from term one yes we learned like how to greet and how to say hi and afrikaans we learned how to do different sentences to put them all together ah uh, i'm copying okay i like that okay and so if you were to say hello in isi zulu how do you say it in john and johnny okay Anything else you want to say in Isi Zulu? No. Okay, all right. We'll save it for another day. You know what I'm saying? Catch her on the live and she'll say more. But in it all, with it all, I love that. So that was number three, that you get to learn two languages already. Rain in second grade, I'm learning two languages. Ricky's in kindergarten, what we would say kindergarten. Here they call it grade Stage R. Stage five. Grade R or stage five or whatnot, and he's learning as well, EC Zulu and Afrikaans. So, shouts out to SA for already incorporating languages to the kids at a young age. SA. Because for me, SA, South Africa, right? Okay. However, uh, in the States, I didn't learn another language until I was in high school, grade 11. 
11. I was, well, I mean, I could have learned in like ninth grade. I think I maybe started 10th grade. But anyway, all that to say, it was in the latter ends of my scholastic endeavors prior like, to going to, to college. And so with them here, learning things already in kindergarten will take them a long way. So I'm excited for that but as a parent. I can say this with Zulu. They take Zulu very seriously. We spent like two hours doing Zulu when other people are in break. Oh. So like it's unfair for us, but the other people don't get that. Okay. Okay. So it's like unfair. Well, but they yeah. take Zulu very, very seriously, guys. Okay. If you come to South Africa, you will hear them talking in Zulu. If they're not speaking Afrikaans and like long words, Zulu. Mm -hmm. So get you some Zulu in your lessons. repertoire and lessons. Then I like you'll that. know what they're saying. Then you know what they're saying. All right, we're going to keep your legs down, okay? Yeah. All right, so number four, ladies and gentlemen, reason why Rain is loving uh, schools here in South Africa rather than in the States would break be... Break is longer. You have break, longer breaks. Breaks to do what? To like play with your friends. Ah, yes. And so as we drop her off in the morning, there's opportunities for the friends to play in which they do so there's many different actually things. There's three breaks. There's three breaks in class? Because there's school? a morning break, there's a second break, which the morning break is out an hour if you come very early. Second break is two hours. Well, first break is two hours. Second break is two hours. Okay. That's pretty cool. So in your breaks, you eat and you play with your friends. Yes. And you like and that. And the eating time is two minutes. It can't be two minutes, baby girl. It has to be longer than two minutes. If your break is one hour, you have to have longer than two minutes of eating time. It just No, but the break is separated. Oh. Because sometimes some teachers let them eat after break. Okay. Instead of before. Oh. It's when you want to do eating time. Okay. Well, there it is. So you'll be able to have enough time to play with your friends and to eat. However, break times are obviously valuable to such kids as my baby girl, Rain Rain. Okay. And fifth. Fifth thing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Last but not least. Bye, 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 bye. Events. Events? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you mean by events? There's so much fun events. Like on the last Friday, we had Grandparents Day and there's like derby things and oh. there's actually a lot more coming yes there are a lot of different things that they do at the school oftentimes we don't do all of them because we say usually it's like six in the morning seven in the morning eight in the morning it's like hold on what day will i have to be able to sleep in because if i'm waking up every morning to you take them to school Saturday. and then exactly sunday working up for church saturday surely i should be able to sleep in until i want to wake up without an alarm clock and so she doesn't make all of the events that they have going on early in the morning at school but we do get to go to some and the ones that we are able to participate in I she loves she enjoys and she has great memories there so i do love that it does allow for community to be built and to be fostered and for us to interact with other parents and things and you to be connected okay that's this person parent or that's that person parent and all right let's see if we can get them together to have a play date as they say here what are you about to say and the funniest thing you have I to talk about baby girl the funniest thing i think that is gonna happen this term term two or term three is going to be the fun run okay what happens during the fun run erase all right, so we'll see what that all comes about and see what all takes place there. There's, actually, there's like news where like from term one to term four. Mm. And then I look at this mm -hmm. to go ahead for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for bringing home the information that's necessary. And you did say that you had a bonus that you wanted to share about the things that you get to do here that you didn't get to do back in the States. They do Bible class and Hindu moral Bible, whatever you are a Christian about. Whatever your faith is in, there is a class for the child there, right? So us being Christians, there's Bible classes, there's Hindu classes, there's for Islam, right? And there's moral characters or just for none, right? And But there's a time in the day that such lessons are being taught. And so in term one, they were able to learn about the creation story as well as Noah's um story and so it was pretty cool to be able to see it in the report of what they talked about and what they learned Wait, what did i get actually 
it wasn't a grade it was again in the report it talked about what you learned it's not necessarily a grade that is recorded but i do love that that is taught and shared in the schools and again whatever is your faith it's inclusive right there's a space there's a place there's a room nice. for that child to be able to be in and so in it all with it all i love that because you know it teaches diversity because at the same time they're everybody's different everybody believes what they believe and i love that even in their young age they get to understand diversity and then have respect for the diversities of beliefs and faiths and so all again reasons why my lovely daughter and you know ricky he just you know these aren't the type of videos he does very well but he loves schools here as well and so there are things so many different things that they enjoy about schools here as opposed to schools in the states and so all that to say for the parents that are looking to make the move or for parents that are even considering or for the parents that are even here know that there are so many benefits and pleasures that the schools here offer that aren't even offered in the state so another reason why we should be proud of what's here schools. in south africa and as we are proud about the things that are offered in here in south africa it allows for us to be bold and confident about the greatness that we are and the greatness that we are brought up in so in it all with it all my dear is there anything else that you would like to say or share and there's all kinds of schools here boom shakalaka and so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so we will greatly appreciate it smash that thumbs up button as well oh. as we would love that too and share it with a friend that may be considering making the move that have kids or to the people that are already living here that have kids and so what? that you're reminded why south africa is so great and why it's a place to be don't forget to go to the shops daddy he will put it down below there it is, the Jones Family Channel shop store where you can buy merch and things like that. So There will be kids stuff coming out in two months. Well, hey, until then, great people, we love you all. We appreciate you all. Peace. Ready when you are. Okie dokie. All right, we're on set. All right, so. Okay, squish. There we go. So.